Welcome to the Digital Aviato script tutorial. The first step of adding a new vehicle is getting the game name. This can be done in game with the Rampad command. You can also find and change the game name of a vehicle in the vehicles.meta file. Once you know the game name, you can open the config file of the script. The first step in the config is to add the vehicle's game name to the whitelist section. Since this is a standard tow truck without built-in ramps, we will also add it to the offset section to have the ramps added as props. The flatbed does not have built-in ramps, so we make sure the has ramp option is set to false. After adding it to the config, simply restart the script for the changes to take effect. For the ramp prop, you can also download our included ramp editor tool to precisely set the position where the ramp should be added. Use the arrow keys to adjust the height and distance from the center of the truck. Once you're satisfied with the positioning, simply use the displayed values in the config. Now, let's go over how to add a rollback flatbed. The first step is always the same, getting the game name. Next, add the game name to the whitelist section. And now instead of adding it to the offset section, we add it to the rollback section. The bone index refers to the bone name that the vehicle should be attached to. This bone name should be provided by the vehicle creator. In this case, it is MISC-B. You can also test other common bone indexes, such as MISC-C or MISC-A. To verify if you're using the correct bone name, try attaching a vehicle. The vehicle should be positioned at the center of the tow bed and should move along with the bed when it is lowered or raised. Now, let's go over how to add different style trailers. This trailer features the rear ramp as the trunk door. As usual, start by getting the game name and adding it to the whitelist. Since the ramp is the trunk in this case, simply set the hash ramp to true in the offset section. For a rollback style trailer like this, follow the exact same steps as you would for a rollback flatbed. The only difference is that you also need to add it to the rollback trunk section. Next, let's look at a trailer that has the ramp as an extra. As always, get the game name and add it to the whitelist. Set the has ramp to true in the offset section. Then, add it to the ramp extra section. If a trailer has multiple ramps as multiple extras, such as this, you can also add multiple extras in brackets to toggle them all at once. And finally, to add a boat trailer, get the game name as usual, add it to the whitelist, and then to the boat trailer height offsets section. This will allow you to attach boats to the trailer when you're close to it.